Hello everyone, welcome to Barca News. It is March 2nd, 2024, and Joshua Kimmich could be pushing for an exit in the summer transfer market. Also, Barcelona could make some money off the sale of Mika Marmol. And finally, Shad Riyad has responded to the speculation that Barcelona could be looking to buy them back. We have a lot to discuss, so let's begin. everyone welcome to the channel my name is Mo and before we begin with the news just a quick reminder to make sure to hit that like button subscribe to the channel and drop a comment all of this helps this channel continue to grow also if you are looking for any Barcelona jerseys or merchandise make sure you hit the kit bag and if you are looking to place any sports bets make sure you head to bet us both links to kit bag and bet us are down below in the description now begin with the news that Barcelona are scheduled to face off against Ernesto Valverde's Athletic Club de Bilbao tomorrow Sunday March the 3rd at San Mamés in what will be a very difficult match for Barcelona not only because Athletic Club de Bilbao are a difficult opponent but also because San Mamés is an incredibly difficult stadium where Athletic Club de Bilbao have not lost in that stadium since August when they face off against Real Madrid and since then they have achieved 12 victories and two draws at home including that victory against Barcelona in the Copa del Rey. Now today Real Madrid drew against Valencia 2-2 two two, dropping points so the way La Liga table is currently looking is Real Madrid in first place with 66 points so if Barcelona win tomorrow they will have 60 points cutting the distance between them and a number one spot to only six points. And of course, gaining those three points would also mean that Barcelona would increase the distance between them and Athletic Club de Bilbao to 11 points against a team who is fighting for the fourth Champion League spot. Now, since Real Madrid did draw against Valencia, I would like to make one prediction, but I have a strong feeling that during this upcoming week, somehow, some way, we will hear about the Enrique Estereira case once again, because as we've seen all this season, whenever Real Madrid drop points, all of a sudden, we start hearing about the Nereida case. Now, speaking of tomorrow's match between Barcelona and Athletic Club de Bilbao, Barcelona have released the squad list for that match. And the squad list includes Mark Ter Stegen, Joao Cancelo, Ronald Araujo, Inigo Martinez, Pedri, Robert Lewandowski, Rafinha, Iñaki Peña, Joao Felix, Christensen, Fermín López, Uriol Romeo, Vitor Roque, Sergi Roberto, Frankie de Jong, Ilkay Gundogan, Jules Kunde, Lamine Yamal, Cochen, Kuarsi, Mardiu, and Hector Fort. Now, as usual, Xavi Hernandez did participate in a pre-match press conference where he started talking about what he expects in tomorrow's match against Ernesto Valverde's team. And in regards to that, the Barcelona coach said, I haven't seen all the teams, but in La Liga, they are the most intense. And in San Mamés, they double that intensity. And they also play very good football. And that's thanks to Valverde, who is a great coach. He showed that here at Barca. They are the most physical opponent in every way. They recently knocked the side of the cup. They are the most intense opponent in the league. I think they've only lost one game there against Madrid, and they are confident. If we win, we'll take a big step forward. So Xavi Hernandez highlighting how difficult of an opponent is Athletic Club de Bilbao, specifically at home. They are the most intense team in La Liga. So I do agree with Xavi Hernandez's statement, but not fully because I don't think Ernesto Valverde was a great coach at Barcelona. In fact, Barcelona played just as horribly under him. Of course, the difference back then is we did have someone called Lionel Messi who used to rescue us all the time. Now, with that digressing too much, Xavi Randes was also asked about what kind of profile of a player he would like to have in his team. And in regards to that, the Barcelona coach said, I think the way football is set up, you have to have all the profiles in the squad. Technical players, physical players, players who go into space. Football has changed a lot. Without losing our DNA, we have to have all profiles. And this is where, once again, I do disagree with Xavi Hernandez, and I think this statement really highlights why I don't think Xavi Hernandez is a great coach, is an innovator or a disruptor, because what Xavi Hernandez tries to do, he tries to adapt to the current status of football, tries to figure out a way or how to survive within the scheme of how football, current football is set up, where if you look at other great coaches in the history of Barcelona, for example, Johan Cruyff, he did not look to adapt to his current times. What he did to look for is innovate 
and be disruptive and break the mold because when Johan Cruyff first arrived in Barcelona, the Spanish league was an incredibly physical league. It was all about big, strong players. And all teams played like Getafe played against us during the first leg in La Liga, where they would look to break legs and the strongest would be the one who would win. Now, when Johan Cruyff took over Barcelona, he decided that he did not want to have physical players. He wanted technical players who are able to move the ball much faster than everyone. And at that time, everyone thought Johan Cruyff was absolutely crazy because he had put together a team of uh, what you would consider weak players back then. And everybody thought that Barcelona would be done halfway through the season with all of its players injured or in the hospital. But instead, what did Johan Cruyff do? He ended up completely demolishing his opposition by breaking the mold, by being an innovator and a revolutionary. And in the process, he ended up revolutionized football because all the other teams had to adapt to what Johan Cruyff was playing rather than him adapting to the current state of La Liga. And the same thing happened under Pep Guardiola. When Pep Guardiola came to Barcelona, he did not care how all the other teams were playing. He decided to play his own way. He changed things and of course he adapted the Tiki Taka, short quick passes with the buildup starting with your goalkeeper and your two center backs, which at the moment was an incredible no, no, that was not a thing you did back then. The number one rule of football back then is you did not pass the ball inside your box because it was a perfect recipe for the opposing team to intercept the ball and score against you, but yet he did it. And at the time, everybody thought he was absolutely crazy for breaking the rules of football. But what did Pep Guardiola do? He ended up also demolishing his opposition. And in the process, he forced other teams to adapt to him, changing football forever because all the teams had to change how they played because they could not stop Pep Guardiola. So this is what differentiates Xabi Hernandez from the greats. He's not a coach who's looking to break the mall, who's looking to be disruptive, innovator, or revolutionary. He's only looking to adapt to the current stand, uh, to the current uh, football, to how football is played. And he's not even good at that because as we've seen, Barcelona have struggled a lot under his coaching. Now finally, Xavi Hernandez was asked once again about whether he still plans to leave at the end of the season. Of course, as I reported previously, there were a lot of media outlets saying that John Laporta had asked Xavi Hernandez to stay, so had Rafa Juste. Here in the channel, I told you that those stories were not true, that that conversation had not taken place. So Xavi Hernandez was once again asked whether he plans to leave. And once again, the Barcelona coach affirming that yes, his intention is to leave at the end of the season and that he has not changed his mind. And speaking of leaving, it's looking like Joshua Kimmich will be more likely to push for an exit out of Bayern Munich during this summer transfer market. Now, as we've been talking about on this channel, Joshua Kimmich is currently not happy at Bayern Munich. He's not happy with Tuchel. They say the relationship between the two has broken down, but it seems that Joshua Kimmich has become even more unhappy in the most recent days because he has been played as a fullback or as a right back, and he is not too happy in playing that position. And, he, and he's even now more unhappy because Bayern Munich have decided to use Joshua Kimmich as a scapegoat, blaming him for how the team is playing, saying that he, is not, he hasn't been the leader, that he's not been you know, the one to help his teammates uh, rise to the occasion and help them improve the status quo. And as a result, both Bayern Munich and the player are no longer happy with their situation. So it's looking more and more likely that Joshua Kimmich could push for an exit in the summer transfer market. And it's looking like Bayern Munich are more and more likely to be happy with Joshua Kimmich leaving, which of course that opens up the door to Barcelona because Barcelona have been wanting to sign Joshua Kimmich for quite some time. But before this, it was nearly impossible because there's no way that Bayern Munich would want to offload Joshua Kimmich. Also, Kimmich was happy at Bayern, but then with time, Kimmich became unhappy with Bayern and now Bayern are unhappy with him. So that's of course the perfect, the perfect recipe for the player to leave in the summer putting Barcelona in a good position to at least try to sign the player. Of course, it will all depend on what kind of sales Barcelona could do in the summer. And speaking of sales, it's reported that Barcelona could make some good money off the sale of Mika Marmol. And in case you don't recall who Mika Marmol is, he's a 22-year-old center back who came up through La Masia and given the surplus of center backs that Barcelona had, Barcelona ended up offloading him to Las Palmas where he's currently having an incredible season so far. So much so that Mika Marmol has caught the attention of Manchester City who are looking to purchase the player in order to loan him to Girona because as some of you might know, Manchester City and Girona belong to the same owner which is the City Group. Now it's reported that Las Palmas 
are asking for around 20 to 30 million euros for the center back and Barcelona do ha uh, did retain 50% of any future sales so if Las Palmas do end up offloading Mika Marmo to Manchester City then Barcelona could be looking to make between 10 to 50 million euros which of course given the current climate of the club it's very much welcome now it's also reported that Barcelona could use that operation in order to negotiate for Alex Garcia because again Manchester City want to purchase Mika Marmol in order to loan him to Girona so perhaps instead of paying Barcelona directly maybe that money could go into the operation to sign Alex Garcia because as I reported before Deco has made up his mind that Alex Garcia will be Barcelona's first signing in a summer transfer market. Now we will end today's video talking about Shad Riyad who has finally responded to the speculation that Barcelona could be looking to sign him back. Now Barcelona have sent Shad Riyad on loan to Real Betis with an option to buy which is expected that Real Betis will activate in the summer making him a permanent transfer to Real Betis. However it's also been reported that Barcelona are considering activating the buyback clause which would allow Barcelona to pay 7 million euros for Shad Riyad allowing them to bring him back home to either keep him as one of the center backs of Barcelona or perhaps selling him to someone else for some profit. Well, Shad Riyad has finally spoken about the possibility of him going back to Barcelona. And in regards to that, the Moroccan player said, I only have Betis on my mind. Now Betis is my team and that's it. If Barca will come later, I don't know. They'll come or not. Right now, I'm in the present at Betis. Betis is my team now and I'm going to give 100% for this team and keep going. Then if other things come along, then we'll have to decide. For the moment, I'm focused on the present. So there you have it folks, Shad Riyad saying that all he cares about right now is Real Betis. He's only focused on Real Betis. He's not thinking about whether going back to Barcelona or not. Of course, I always love to hear from you guys. Would you like to see Barcelona activating that buyback class for Shad Riyad? Also, what do you get out of Shad Riyad's statements? Is he trying to distance himself from the club? Is he just trying to be respectful to Real Betis? Let me know down below. So that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give me a like. Also, I would like to invite all of you to please leave a comment down below, giving me all your thoughts and opinions about all the news that I share with you. And finally, I would like to invite all of you to please subscribe to the channel so you can stay current on all the latest news in regards to our beloved club, FC Barcelona. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video. And as always, Bisca Barca.